Namaste. A drill you can practice in opening your hip flexors in preparation for your back bend sequence is using the ball step or the pillow, something which will elevate your feet higher. So we're gonna do, we're gonna place a feet on top like this, over it, and then just sliding your ankles forward so you create the flexibility of your ankle joints. And from there, just walk in. Yeah. At the same time, rubbing your feet downwards. In this position, you're not really pressing the whole yeah, length of your feet on top. Yeah, you're gonna let your ankle bones hang forward, like the, the intersection yeah, between your shin and your ankle, nice and free, because that, that will uh, be utilized in creating the openness. And yeah, because if your um, ankles are tight, the tendency would be your low back will scoop too soon, too sudden, and you won't be able to curl back to your full potential. So this is a drill, you know, just sliding down. You may set to your ankles like this as you walk your knees forward, you know, promoting the flexibility of your ankle joints. And then from there, you can do a flow using that yeah, bolster like this, uh, pressing, right, and then rubbing forward like this, right, and then back and forward. You can even look shoulder to shoulder, right, and then do a back bend with your hips hanging up. But um, to do this, you have to inhale through and up yeah, as you stretch the tops of your feet, including yeah, your toes and yeah, your ankle joints. All right, do a couple of that, maybe three or four sets of that drill. So walking, sit into your heels, and then flowing forward. And the next drill would be, yeah, you're gonna use that yeah, in the practice of your Ustrasana, or the kneeling back bend. All right, so from here, hips back, hips forward, hips back, hips forward. You can do this, shoulder to shoulder. You can circle around. Yeah. All right, now keeping your toes resting there and the ankle bones yeah, open, breathing in, reaching up. All right, shift back, see? And then lightly grip your toes to counter the weight and then open up and reaching for yeah, your feet behind you. And here, yeah, your knees remain stack, yeah, or your hips remain yeah, aligned with your knees. Yeah, and the hips naturally forward, yeah, because your spine is curling back, and that will be your counterbalance. All right, and here, you're open, yeah, the hip flexors open, yeah, the front of the body open, and then you can lightly hang and suspend. You may even place your hands here and allow your head to tilt back a bit. All right, now you don't wanna be bending at the knees. You have to press down to your knees. And then if you're losing it, yeah, watch my toes. You're gonna to use that to counter. And then from there, uh, scoop it forward. And then you can reach up and back already. All right, and here you might rub the tongue around the mouth uh, from cheek to the center and then the other way. And then you can even sway like your arms are dancing. All right, you can cross and hang, all right. Breathing in, you may grip your toes, so that will create more space inside. And then from there, forward, up and back. All right. And if um, possible, yeah, if you can already see your toes behind, you know, don't rush, keep hanging, and then folding the elbows. Watch, elbows are turning externally, right? And then crawling the shoulders, you have to move this forward and up. All right, and then from there, you will be able to see your toes. Re inhale, and yeah, reaching behind you. Good. See my toes active to create the height. All right, and then once you're able to reach for your heels, all right, you can relax your toes. All right, don't rush. Side to side your shoulders, and you might be able to inhale, push down through your knees, and let your head fall and the elbows are externally rotating, the arm bones actually, and inhaling. And let's stay, don't collapse your knees, keep pushing down and forward. All right, release, inhaling, same as the entry. You can grip your toes to counter and come up. All right, hips fold, see? And just walking your knees again. 
All right. So with that additional height, yeah, you're able to reach a little bit easy, yeah, for your heels behind you, as opposed to when your feet are flat, yeah, you might be needing that additional space. Whereas here, you have the height already. However, this technique, you need to really press down, yeah. Pull in and then using the toes, yeah, to create that counter. And then from that gripping toes, breathe forward, up and back, yeah. Toes, forward, up and back. Toes, forward, up and back. Toes, forward, up and back, see? Toes, forward, up and back, and then hang. You won't miss it. You know, when you grip your toes, you will feel more space open inside. All right, you can just hang here. You know, you sway, and then turn the arms like this, and then let the shoulders suspend, and grab hold of your heels. Yeah, open up the chest, don't rush. Inhaling, you might lightly lift the head to create more space inside the shoulders, and lower down. See, I'm not collapsing my knees, I'm pressing my knees down, and then draw from the core, and curl the upper back really open. And then rise with control, and then come back, and walk the knees. All right, can okay, roll the shoulders around. That's one drill, all right. Next drill, all right. You can do the Ekapada Raja Kapotasana, yeah, with the arm binding. To uh, enter this position, yeah. You may approach this from your downward facing dog, like this, all right. You can do like three-legged dog first, to loosen the hips, like this. Or you can do Matsya Kridasana, yeah, grabbing hold of the foot. You can circle that leg around, kicking up and down, all right. You can broaden the hip, turn in and out of the hip, all right, and changing legs. Circle around as you reach that shoulder in front of you. You can also do this, flipping over that arm, you know, to open the shoulders, and do the other side. All right, so you need to open the shoulders, you need to open the knee joints, and you need to open your hips. All right, from there, yeah, approaching from the downward dog, thread one knee through. All right, your knee, right up the, in the center, or you might open a little bit out to the side. So you can move that back hip inward, and then you just move to a bit of a side to side. All right, now from there, same arm. Don't look back, reaching up, yeah. Arm it forward, up, so you're moving your shoulder blade slightly to the front, just to make room for the spine, and then see my toes? Yeah, I'm gripping, so I can move, I can pull a little bit more space out of my hip flexor. And then from there, bending the knee. All right, grab hold. All right, so here, notice the shoulder open, so you're grabbing hold of the inside of the foot. All right, you may wrap the tongue here from the bottom of the gun to the upper. You can go forward and back, side to side, your hips. All right, neck as well, don't rush. You may roll that shoulder around. All right, now important here is the breath. Every time you attempt to curl back, inhale, draw to the midline, and then move your spine high. Yeah. Breathing in, and then you may loosen a bit, and exhale, soften. Yeah. Inhale, draw to the midline to open up the spine higher, and exhale, soften, inhale. So the aim of that inhalation is to lift the muscles of your lower belly up. And so when you curl back, this is open. And as you exhale, just loosen. Like you want to loosen, like you want to move away from the back bend and then create the space again. So that's the idea. All right. Now hand, grab hold externally. You know this already. All right. Inhale. Yeah. Inhale. Hug. See? Because if you are collapsed and then you flip the shoulder over, yeah, you know, your shoulder will have difficulty you know, rotating around. So, but when you're hugging to the midline, yeah, you have the brace, you have the lightness of the hips. So flipping over 
is light. All right, and then you can release the hips. You can relax the hips and then just move that hip back. Yeah, armpit forward, up and back. Now you can even roll the shoulders around there, side to side them, and the other arm too. All right, don't rush. Yeah, sometimes you need to loosen your head. Yeah, the aim is to move whatever is clogging the spine out of the way. You know, you may do a bit of a side to side there. But inhale again, grip, reach up and back, and loosen, exhale, forward, forward, up and back, and yeah, yeah, nice and easy. All right, you can even go further like this. You can lightly flex your foot to create the grip until you can comfortably get closer to your heel. See? The key is this. Yeah, you need to move your shoulder blade right up the front and then scoop it forward and backwards and not push the shoulder blades downwards. So forward, roll them up and backwards. Good. And to release, inhaling yeah, into the midline. So when you release, you're not bouncing that leg. See? And then bow the body forward. Curling your toes, you may rub the hips there, and then from there, push. And then you can do yeah, this one, and then flip over, and to the back, and down and up. All right, let's do that on the other side. You can also do a kneeling back bend before changing sides. Sit back, inhale forward, up and backwards. Yeah. You may be here, you may be here. All right, press down, see? Down, grip, down and forward, grip, down and forward, and up. Yeah, so the grip is like you're hugging to the midline. So you use that to brace the spine, so you have more space to reach to the back. All right, and here you may hang lightly. Yeah, I would normally do one of these asymmetrical, and the Kapotasana, Good, nice and easy. All right, inhaling, armpits forward, up and backwards, and take a nourishing breath in, grip, and elbows to the ground. Good, and to come up, rise it, easy, loosen. You may slide the hands down and push, or you may walk the knees, and inhale, push down to the knees, and come back, folding the hips, and then walking them. All right, you may tuck your toes there, and roll the shoulders around. All right, you may flow, hands down, to the back, upwards, and downward facing dog. All right, and you do the opposite side. All right, let's repeat the pr practice, huh? You can do this, three-legged dog alternate, all right, and after the three-legged dog, okay, you can do the Matsekri Dasana again, this one. All right, you can, all, you can also flip over before you change sides. All right. And the other knee, threading through. All right, it could be wide or it could be in the center, depending on the flexibility of your hips. All right, yeah, roll the hip bone inward and outwards. All right. Gripping, so you can move the spine forward and backwards. All right, reaching up, inhaling, grabbing hold. All right, again, shoulder open. You can even move the chest to the front as your arm bone move up, back and down. All right, and adjust forward, neck. All right, good. Changing grip, yeah. breathing in, into the midline, see, brace, and that you will feel your shoulders open as you brace inward, right? And then flipping that arm over and rotating the shoulder. And here, you may roll the shoulders around, side to side, your hips too, forward and back, forward and back, and 
you're doing the same technique. All right. You don't want to yeah, be pushing your shoulders downward. Rather, you want your shoulders, this one, forward yeah, to make room for the spine lifting upwards. And then your shoulders roll backwards and downward as the spine go forward, upward, and backwards. And breathe. Good. And then to release, inhale, gripping yeah, into the midline. Yeah, see? Inhale. Yeah, like you are bracing the core. Inhale. It's not inhale. No, it's inhale into the midline and release. Yeah, no bouncing. And exhale down. All right, from there, push. Chaturanga. Upward and downward facing. Yes. Good. And then you can repeat again the back bend, whether using the bolster or you're flowing already with your feet on the ground. All right. Next time, we'll be um, learning how to do the Ekapada Kaputasana preparation. And that will make your um, back bend experience deeper and lighter. All right. Good luck. Yeah, let me know. <laughs>